the fourth crusade hello and welcome to the first animated in video from hank adams productions and if you're, if you're one of my fans that weren't my relatives you will want to like wait what i thought it was c4k aka college for kids well i decided that was kind of just neglecting if i ever have it fans who are older so i changed it to hank adams productions and from now on if if i ever see you at somewhere like vidcon you can just call me hank it is actually my nickname so <laughs> and thanks to my brother who gave me a drawing tablet for my birthday now time to learn all about how the fourth crusade which wasn't really a crusade i would call it the byzantine succession crisis or succession war okay before i start yabbering on about the crusades the fourth crusade quote-unquote crusade i have to talk about the transition of dynasties okay after the great commented dynasty he start uh, like started by alexius the fourth was followed by the which i should do a, di a video on was followed by the disaster angle of the Anglo dynasty He's, and Isaac the Stockton started it, it, the rule over the Byzantines. Okay, so and okay, I could should talk about both dynasties in full or the origins of the Comnenad dynasty, but this happened. No, the kings been killed. Why? I. I guess the Isaac the second is dead. What? No, my brother gouged my eyes out. Uh, that's why I have the. That's why my eyes are bloody. That's why I look dead. Oh. Uh, well, you will be needing this. That's, what? I hear what I proclaim. Your, well, you your eyes have been gouged out. Yeah, by my brother. So that's why. So I'm proclaiming your brother, Alexios the Third. Mm, why? Okay. After this happened, the son of Isaac the Second, Alexios the Fourth, fourth <clears throat> ran away to a place called Swabia in Germany. Now, to get back to the, the Fourth Crusade. Yeah. Um, now I'll have to shorten it so this video doesn't take forever. I have to short. it has to be a 15 minute video. I wish it could be longer, but that's how it is. Okay, so basically after the failed Third Crusade, the people wanted another, the, which would be the Fourth Crusade. So basically, Count Bonifacio had ordered some to build the Venetians to build a fleet. He would pay them. It wasn't like he was being forced. They were being forced not to be able to pay. So he, he asked. So he promised that he would have a certain number, but he had half that. And the Byzantines had built twice. So so the fleet was only half the worth of what it got. So basically the Venetians lost money. So angry at the Crusaders, they, they didn't let them leave until they captured the city. So after they did, and the Pope actually actually communicated them, um, the leader, Count Bonifacio, he went to see his cousin, his cousin I believe, He's the king of Swabia, who, who the son, uh, Isaac's son, Alexius IV, met him, and he gave the proposition. He said yes, everyone, most of the people agreed, and this is where our story really starts. Okay, when they first arrived here, they, in Constantinople, basically all they did was 
is what makes success do a few skirmishes in suburb in the suburbs across the Bosphorus to Constantinople. But something bigger would come. Okay, basically the plan was Okay, I showed C as the Crusaders and B as the Byzantines. Okay. The fame the Poor of Constantinople had something called the Golden Horn, and I kind of as a Gideon. The Byzantines had a fleet there, some ships there, and to guard it, they also had some troops in a small suburb on the other side, and while the other Crusaders were besieging the rest of the city. So, the Crusaders attacked the Byzantines, and with a cavalry charge, they managed to break them up, lifting the chain that kept the ships from attacking the Golden Horn, and they managed to take the Golden Horn, and then this happened. Hello, my, my loyal subjects! Thank you for accepting me as your new king. I know, I'm fabulous. <laughs> Boo! Where should we support Alexius the Fourth? What? Ah! The tomatoes are your emperor. Ah! Okay, what happened? So Alexius the Fourth had told the Crusaders that he had popular support in Constantinople. He had lied. But they weren't going to just stop there. They came all the way here and they still wanted to claim their prize. Okay. Now I have to talk a bit about how the Varangians could have almost saved the Byzantine Empire. The Varangians were a Viking slash Saxon, but mostly Viking and mercenaries. And what? And if you're watching this and like, wait, Vikings have horns on the helmet? No, no, they don't. I should talk about the Varangians in all their own video, but I can't. I, I'm, but not today. So the Varangian guard, they actually, they went from, they actually, they. He attacked the Crusaders who were besieging the, the walls of Constantinople and actually succeeded. Didn't just completely destroy them, but you know. And then they defeated some sea coast guards. Even then, Alexius III ran away. So. Guess who became king? Okay, here, you can have your crown back. Okay. okay. So, so when the Cre Crusaders heard about the news, they demanded that they elevate their patron prince, the son of Alexius, Isaac II, to be co-emperor. Now, when his uncle, Alexius III, ran away, he brought most, of the, brought most of the royal treasury with him. So, he actually, meaning he, Alexius IV, couldn't pay off his debt to the Crusaders. And there was a new man in town. Okay. Uh, so, Alexius IV declared that he would not pay the debt to the Venetians and the... and the Crusaders. So... And the Doge Dandolo, who was in the Crusade, and the Doge means Duke of Venice, um, and was heard crying out, 
miserable youth. From the quagmire you brought, we found you. To the quagmire we shall return to you. But someone else was rising in power. Someone of the Dorcas family. I know it sounds weird, but it's a Greek name. A stupid Greek name. Anyway, he. This guy with him went to soup flows. I'm probably mispronouncing it, but what the heck. So, this guy. I declared that the Venetian. The. The. Um, Byzantines were tired of those dang crusaders and Venetians. Just leave. So they had a peace. So they straight. So they killed old Isaac the second and his son Alexius the fourth, and he became Alexius the fifth. So then they had. Then the crusaders and Alexius the fifth had a peace banquet. The terms were Alexius V would have to pay 5,000 pounds of gold. Okay, only a fraction of what Alexius IV offered, but still, that's a lot of cash. They would have, he would have to pledge fealty to Pope Innocent the V or I don't remember which Pope Innocent it was, and he was definitely not innocent. So, and also, uh, he would have to restore or Alexius the fourth to the throne. They didn't know he was already dead. But then the Frankish cavalry charge ruined the whole thing. Okay, so, after this, the Slavarangians wanted a higher pay rise for stake and with the emperor since after after the the prelates called the Byzantines heathens, he knew that war was going to ensue. So basically, he, he got um he basically he, he couldn't pay them more the pay that they wanted, and so they left. So, with not much of a garrison, they were pretty much doomed. They sacked the capital. The Crusaders marched on the Theodosian seawall, sacked the palace that made it as fake, and burned most of Constantinople with so many priceless treasures just to the ground. Why? <laughs> Why, Crusaders? In the opinions in Europe were mixed. People like Pope Innocent were pretty angry that they attacked a Christian city, and the but some people were like, "Hey, they are heathens. Don't attack our own people." So they basically divided the Byzantine Empire up. Up in the several kingdoms like Nicaea, uh, Dothe, Thessalonica, and of course, Earth. Well, I, I'll just show you a map. Okay, this is. I, since I'm restricted to having my videos less than 15 minutes, I have to. There are a bunch of different kingdoms. It's like the Ryan Empire, the Empire of Nicaea. I see ya. And if you want to look at them more, stop the video. Look at all of them. Search them up somewhere. Here. Thank you for watching my video.